Welcome back everyone! I've got a gorgeous recipe for you today. I'm going to show you how to make a delicious chocolate loaf cake with a hidden heart inside. This cake is chocolatey with a delicious dark chocolate buttercream on top. It's perfect to make for a loved one or someone special in your life. I bet your loved one would be thrilled to find a heart inside their cake. Ok, let's start baking. We're going to start by making the vanilla cake first. This is a basic Madeira recipe, the only difference being that we're going to colour it pink. I'm using half butter and margarine as you get a much nicer and fluffier cake with a mix of both. Mix with the cast sugar until you have a nice soft mixture. Now add the eggs, vanilla extract and milk and mix again until everything is combined. Add in the self-raising flour and the pink gel colour. This one is a Wilton and it's a gel colour. I'm adding about half a teaspoon. It's important to use a good gel colour so you get a nice pink colour. Mix again until the flour and the pink colour are fully combined. Just look how pink the mixture is now. That's it, all done and I'm happy with that colour. Now let's get this into the tin. This tin is a two pound loaf tin. Spread the mixture out until it's level. Make sure to grease and line the tin. It's ready for the oven. We're gonna bake this at 180 degrees Celsius for about 50 minutes. When the cake is baked, remove and allow it to cool completely. When the cake is fully cooled, you can make the chocolate cake. This is exactly the same recipe as the pink Madeira cake, except I'm adding cocoa powder and a little baking powder. As before, mix the butter and margarine together with the sugar until it's soft and fluffy. Add in the milk and two eggs. I'm using medium size eggs and mix again until everything is combined. This cake is simple to make. I know we're making two cakes, but I think it's definitely worth it. And when you see the end results, you will love it too. Pour in the self-raising flour, a little baking powder and the cocoa powder. I add baking powder because I want the cake to rise a little more. Mix again until everything is combined. Use a spatula to make sure that there is no flour sitting on the bottom of the bowl. It's ready, but before we place it in the tin, we need to cut out our pink hearts. Place the vanilla cake on a chopping board. Using a sharp knife, cut the ends off and cut the loaf into slices. Make sure to cut the slices the same thickness as your heart-shaped cutter. Using a heart-shaped cutter, cut out a heart from each slice, just like I'm doing here. This heart-shaped cutter measures 4.5 cm wide by 4.5 cm high. Any leftover sponge can be used in cake pops, trifle or just serve it up to the family. We need to get the chocolate mixture into the tin. This tin is also two pounds, just like the last one I used. Place a small amount of the mixture on the bottom and spread it out. As you need to make sure you've got enough mixture to cover the heart center. Time to add our pink hearts. Place in the center on top of the chocolate mix. Just like this. I find it easier to use a piping bag for this stage, but you can also use a spoon. Pipe the cake mixture around the pink sponge and on top. You can see how easy it is to do with a piping bag. Spread it out with a spoon, making sure to cover the pink heart center. That's it, it's ready for the oven. Bake at 180 degrees Celsius for 50 minutes. When the cake is baked, allow it to fully cool before icing it. Now for the buttercream. We're making a dark chocolate buttercream. It's gorgeous. Mix soft and salted butter for about five minutes. The butter will turn to a whiter color and double in size. You can start adding the icing sugar now at this stage. I add a few tablespoons at a time and mix until it's fully mixed in before adding any more. Do this until you've used up all the icing sugar and everything is mixed in. If you wanna get perfect buttercream, it takes time, so just follow what I'm doing. When you have all the icing sugar added and mixed in, you can add in vanilla extract and some milk. You can also use warm water. I add vanilla extract because it brings out the flavor in the chocolate. Add the melted dark chocolate. You can also use milk or a combination of both milk and dark if you like. Mix for about three to four minutes and you'll have a lovely soft buttercream. The buttercream is now a perfect consistency to decorate. This is my favorite part, time to decorate. Place the buttercream in a piping bag with your favorite piping tip. This one I'm using is a 1M Wilton. Pipe buttercream rosettes on top of the cake. How pretty does that look? Finish off with your favorite sprinkles. This cake definitely has the wow factor. Okay, let's check out our surprise inside. Cut a nice big slice, 
Oh wow, we have a pink heart, fantastic. Now time to try it. This looks far too good to eat, but here we go. I love the colours in this cake and the pink heart sprinkles really set it off. It's delicious and the buttercream is just so yummy. Hope you all enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe and see you all next week for another scrummy video. And happy baking everyone. Mm.